Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the freeform curve blend tool. The tool can be accessed under curve edit, duplicate, click and hold, and it is the fourth tool on the right. So uh, what you can do is you can use this tool to connect two curves or a surface edge or a curving surface with the curve. It is kind of like a freeform blend, except it is designed specifically for curves. So let me show you guys how to use it. So let's say you have a curve right here. You can just click and hold like this to drag to create a curve like this. And all you have to just say build. Of course, you can use the manipulator right here. So let's say you want it to be G2, G2 curvature instead of tangent. You can do that. You can just press update like this and update like this. You can also use it on a surface edge like this. Of course, you can click and drag. Now for this one, you don't, you actually don't have to press control alt to do a curve snap. It just drags it for you. So it's kind of convenient. And you can also do it on a curve and surface like this. Now it is kind of like freeform blend except well, it is very similar in uh, between each tool, but I guess the it just depends on how you like to use it. Uh, but both tools are very intuitive and both will do a very similar function. So it's just a matter. I think it is more of a matter of preference uh, versus, you know, a functionality difference between the two. Uh, there are some things that you can adjust. Uh, you can use the side, uh, you can adjust the continuity. So you can go from all the way from position to G3. So if you were just to the position, it just drags like this. And you can always go to G3 if you want high, very high fidelity class A surface. And you can do that also here like this. And you get a nice curve like this. Okay, uh, now one thing that you have to note is that manipulator position is very important because let's say you want to do this, uh, but if you drag it somewhere in the middle, that's where it's actually going to start. So if you look at the CV structure, let me just turn this off. Actually, I might, I might be better to just leave it on. You'll notice that the CV structure actually uh, of the blend curve actually starts from here instead of on the edge. So you just have to make sure that if you are going, uh, if you want it to go all the way to the end, you um, just have to make sure that it is so. So in, in this case, you can just drag it back and update it like this, and then update the curve so that we got a nice blend curve between the two curves. Okay, so that's a freeform curve blend tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.